please. Good morning, apprentices. Good morning. We are here for the last and final task of the Insurance Apprentice 2016. I would like to welcome my fellow judges, Vuyo Lee, and on my right I have Nadia Star Arvind Seta. Welcome, Nadia. Uh, thank you very much, Dean. Nadia, will you please brief the apprentices on today's task? Good morning, apprentices. Good morning. morning. Okay, as you know, most people end up in the insurance industry by default. They start off um, with aspirations to be something completely different and they end up taking a job in insurance and it becomes a career. Because people are coming in by default, they are not making, the youth are not making concerted decisions to become something in insurance, a financial planner, a risk broker, etc. We will be going to St. Stidian's College, Girls College, we will be visiting a school and we will be speaking to grade 9 girls. The same group that will be making their subject choices, which will eventually, obviously, form the, the basis of their careers. What we'd like you to do today is to engage with these, with these girls and tell them why uh, or what advice you would provide females who would like to get into the insurance industry. Remember that there's a lot of misconception about the insurance industry. It's never been a sexy industry that people want to, to enter. So you need to provide them with motivation as to why they'd want to even consider insurance as a, as a career and what subjects they would need to choose to enable the, them studying and, and entering a career in insurance. I would also like you to research a bit on INCETA, the organization that I represent and provide the uh, students with some information in terms of what INCETA does and how it can assist them in their career development. For today, we will be in um, an auditorium of sorts. We won't have any audiovisual um, assistance. So you guys will have a stage to work on and it's up to you to decide how to best engage with the, with the students. These are young kids, they're in grade nine. They're all teenage girls trying to get their um, their attention and keep their attention, but how you do it is entirely up to you. Okay, then um, for the presentation, you'll get 10 minutes. Okay, no executive summary today, you'll be thankful. And uh, I'm thankful as well. <laughs> okay, then brings us to the teams. Today we will have in the first team, or the one team, Alicia, Andre, and Carabo, which then leaves um, Selena. Uh, Chris and Unati in the other team. As usual, think of a funky name for your team because you have to impress uh, grade 9 pupils today. Good luck! Thank you. Selena, Unati and Chris are starting to sort of bring in their bits. They're working with good structure. I think they've understood the task well. Selena seems like the least strong in terms of the competition. Um, she's very sweet and she's very she, she's excited about the task, but she is allowing the, the gentleman to push her around a little bit. Um, although towards the end of the prep, uh, I see that she's, uh, she seems to have asserted herself, asserted herself nicely. Personally, I think in Think Pink, Unati is probably my, my forerunner in terms of that group. While it seems as if Chris is taking the more um, explicit lead, uh, Chris and Unati are, are, are giving a lot of content and ideas and structure to the uh, to the task. Um, I think they are generally working quite well, although there does seem to be a little bit of no, 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 don't do that, let's not waste our time, we, we're running out of time and let's, you know, let's move. 
Um, so I'm not too sure that the leadership role that I think Chris is exerting is really being accepted. But they're working well. They've, they've, um, they've really, I think, understood the task at hand. They understand the target market. Um, I was laughing because they said, let's Google some slang words that teenagers would relate to. They're trying to think of how to make um, the, you know, the, insurance, uh, the insurance sector sound interesting and you know, bringing human and real life relevant examples into their, their task. I think our team's going to be great today. Um, it's, I'm calling it the Selena show. She's going to shine. She's very excited. She's very passionate about what she does and about women. And um, today is her show, her audience, and myself and Unati are there to back her up all the way. When I was in grade nine, unfortunately, I didn't know much about insurance. And um, the insurance kind of chose me, and I didn't choose insurance. So I'm pretty happy to be here today to um, tell the girls about this exciting career. The insurance industry is not just limited to broking and underwriting as well as claims. Uh, there's many different facets of uh, the insurance industry, and that's what I'm going to be exploring today. I think these type of... Uh, uh, the type of audience that we'll be addressing today will be looking to doing things such as law, auditing, engineering. I'm going to incorporate all of those facets into the insurance industry, and I think that's how I'm going to reach uh, today's uh, target market. When I left school, um, I never thought of insurance. So insurance kind of, uh, you know, the whole insurance thing happened by chance. Uh, however, I think insurance has really um, has really contributed contributed immensely in my life uh, as you know as an individual and also as a professional I think my contribution to this task has been uh, just to be very subtle not to you know not to take over like I did in the previous roles I think the strategy on this one is to you know use Selena because it has to do with um, you know encouraging the girls so we want to make sure that we resonate to the girls by using someone who they could actually relate to Coming back to school, uh, you know, brings back a lot of uh, memories. Uh, I think it's a nostalgic moment right now for me. Uh, it's just great. It's just great that I'm coming back, you know, to give back to the students in terms of coming to encourage them in terms of career, uh, um, career choices in their life. So yeah, um, I'm very excited about the challenge. Putting myself in the shoes of a grade nine student and um, having been there before. I believe this is a wonderful opportunity to be able to introduce grade 9 students to the career opportunities within insurance. Insurance is a diverse field and it caters for almost every single almost every single career path I can possibly think of. How did I get into the insurance industry? Well, my dad many 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 years ago had uh, two incidents where both his motor vehicles were stolen and I was very disturbed by the way the insurance company at that time dealt with the claim. And that persuaded me to get involved in insurance and pursue a path within insurance where I'm able to deal very differently. Hello, Saints. Okay, I feel really, really happy and empowered to be standing in front of you. I know that each and every one of you are increasingly intelligent and you are the girls that we, the insurance industry and the females within insurance actually need. The insurance industry uh, comprises of a very large amount of males and we really do need women to be of influence within the industry and I think many women don't know much about insurance and therefore my colleagues Chris and Unati are going to be explaining insurance in further detail. Okay, so just to help you remember a little bit about insurance, like a little bit, uh, and an insurance industry and a career, I wrote a little bit of a song and I hope that reminds you about insurance. Does everyone know the song, It's the Eye of the Tiger? Yes. Okay, fine, okay. Okay, so I'm going to sing it to you. And I hope you remember it because I would love for you to pursue a career in insurance. It's the hands of the female, that's the cream of the crop, rising up to the challenge of her rivals. And the last known survivor strikes her prey in the night, and she's rising up all through her life in insurance. <laughs> Thank you.
I just want to first of all want to say I'm really honored and privileged to be here to talk about this wonderful industry of ours. There's so many different facets to the industry. And um, <laughs> so, and I just want to get a bit of um, vibe going, and I want, to, I want us to do something. So I want us to shout two things, get us excited, and I'm going to talk quickly. We haven't got too much time, and I'm going to hand over, hand over to Anati. So because uh, myself, and, uh, myself and Anati are outnumbered, I want you girls to shout girl power. It sounds a bit corny, but let's just get a bit of vibe going. So one, three, I want you to shout loud. Girl, girl power. One, two, three. <laughs> and one more, one more is the last one. It's the show that we're doing. Uh, the show that all of you are going to be a part of, The Insurance Apprentice. On three, I want you to shout, Insurance Apprentice. On three. One, two, three. Insurance Apprentice! There we go. All right. So, quick question. All I want to ask you quickly. How many of you have really decided to be in the insurance industry? You can be honest. Nobody. Right. <laughs> How many of you have decided to study either law, engineering, or in accounting? Right. Now, here's the good news. Most of you have already decided, decided to be in the insurance industry. Why is that? All those three facets will be able to be incorporated into the insurance industry. So I'll give you a quick example. Engineering. We need risk engineers to survey risks and give us reports. That's what you could be studying. Accounting. Forensic accounting. We have SIU departments that uh, investigate special claims. That's where you could be involved. So there's just two examples. And finally, law. Uh, laws use a lot of insurance. So when you think that you're going to be studying accounting, law, engineering, think insurance. Insurance is very broad. Insurance is not just our insurance, the HIPAA. People phoning you, oh, it's the people phoning me for short term insurance. No. Um, there's lots of uh, websites out there that can give you a lot more information than we might talk to you about. But we just wanted to do a quick hurrah about insurance. It's a wonderful industry. I've been in it for 11 years. I'm happy. I'll never leave it. Very passionate about it, as you can see. So I know I'm just saying a lot, it's a lot to take in, but just consider it as a, as a career path. I'm now handing over to Martin. Thanks, Chris. Hi, ladies. Um, I'm very excited to be here. Um, I, think, I think just to add on what Chris has talked about with the different professions that are available in insurance, with you girls being in grade 9 and obviously in grade 10, you'll start deciding on which subjects you need to look at. For example, I mean, those ladies who basically confirmed that you'll like to do accountancy, uh, or become accountants, uh, the subjects that you need to consider would be your English, maths, accounting, business, economics. If you want to be an engineer, maths, English, and uh, physical science. And again, I mean, without, I think uh, Chris touched mostly on the professional side, uh, but you can also um, find guys what you call the brokers within insurance or the specialists, such as what Chris does every day, pricing of, of risk. But those ones you need to just maybe consider English, um, maths. For, for, for those particular fields. There's different in the university where you can actually go and train uh, to become accountants with the different professions. Uh, VRITS, UJ, uh, UCT, UWC in Cape Town, U, U of in Free State. All the, um, I think there's, there's, there's quite a lot, a number of government uh, universities that are available for you guys to go and train. The last thing that I want to mention to you guys, there's an institution which is called the Insurance Sector Education and Training Authority. This is an institution that helps um, you know, in fact, that provides funding to universities uh, as in the form of bursaries that, that will be made available for you guys should you need money to study. They also um, partner with insurance companies where they give insurance companies funding so that they could, uh, the insurance companies can set up what we call leaderships that would actually um, take graduates or students, train them, and actually offer them employment. So all of these options are there available for you guys to use once you have decided to actually consider insurance as a career. I think in closing, guys, uh, we really uh, encourage you guys to you know, consider insurance. We're really looking for women, and a lot of young women, to actually come to insurance. As I said, the future is all yours, guys. Thank you. Just the last thing, guys, we did uh, bring some fizzes because it's Friday and we think we need to do something. So, uh, but there's one problem, I think we're 10 short, so sharing is caring. <laughs> We'll give it to you after the last presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We do have time for questions. Sorry. Um, so, please, somebody ask a question. Okay, we've got a question. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
I'm 31 years old. And I'm very, very close. It's my birthday is this weekend, but I'm still 31. Charles, curious. Yeah. Did you particularly, as a woman, find it hard to become a sure woman? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know what? I did not find it difficult. I did find it um, a little bit out of my comfort zone because it is different uh, competing with males. Um, yes, it is different, but um, at the end of the day, we're women. We can multitask and we can do anything. So, um, So that's why we need young girls like you in the industry.